Brandon Little Coyote, he was a boxer. And uh, if I remember right, he was an AAU boxer at one time in his life. Yeah, he's got a really strong boxing record. He, he, he may have had as many as 100 fights boxing. Wow. He was an amateur guy. Brandon is out of Belgrade, Montana, which is just down the road about 80 miles from Butte, Montana. The crowd is having fun. We're having fun. What more could we ask on a rainy Saturday night in Butte, Montana? We got a lot of great fights. Eh? We got a couple more coming up there, Mr. Mark Johnson. Now, Mark is a teammate of uh, Joey, so we can kind of pick his brain a little bit here when the fighters get in the ring. Here comes Brandon. So now this is going to be a kickboxing match. Is that what we're looking at? Kickboxing? Oh uh, no, I, I believe this is a straight up MMA as well. Let's see. Okay, he just got his hand. He they had to. I think what happened is he had to. We got boxing gloves or MMA gloves? Yeah. If you wrap your hands, ladies and gentlemen, and you cover the palm, they make you cut open the palm. So I think what happened was Brandon's uh, palm was covered with the tape, and so they made him open the palm area a little bit to make it fair. There's a few varied rules, a little different. You wrap your hands a little different in MMA than you do in boxing, uh, Mark. It, it takes a little longer because you know, those wraps are so tight, and you don't want to cut your fighters, you know, cutting that little exact area out as well. Uh, but you know, it looks like you got his gloves on. They just have to do the final taping yeah. here. And the reason they do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you look, if you were ever to look at an MMA glove, the palm is exposed. If there's tape on the palm, there could be little areas of the tape that could cut if it was rubbed against someone's face. So once again, safety of the fighters. And we also follow the national uh, uh, rules of MMA. Uh, Fight Force is uh, very, very conscientious about Staying up to date on all the current everything as far as uh, the rules go, and uh, no, uh, no head kicks or no head kicks on the, on the ground. No head kicks on the ground. No knees to the face. No elbows to the face in this fight. No, or are we going to have? Yeah, we are we going to have elbows and we knees? We will have elbows. Oh, and knees this we're fight. switching up. Yeah. We're going to have elbows and knees in this 150 pound. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Where, uh, the fighters are going to get a couple more opportunities of uh, some more weapons to use. All right, Brandon and Little Coyote enters the ring from Belgrade, Montana. This is 155 pound. We got elbows, elbows in any position, knees in any position, except with no knees on the ground, right, Mark? To the face. Not to the face, no. Yeah, no knees to the face on the ground or to the head on the ground, but knees to the head standing. And a grounded opponent is any three points of contact. Exactly. Elbows from any position. Yep. The header allowed in this match. Except still no elbows from 90 degrees down. Yeah. 
12 to 6. We don't like to see that. I don't know why, but that's just the rule. That and I see uh, Joey's sprouting a little facial hair since I saw him last. We're in for a fun fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a fun one. This is another one, Mark, where you close your eyes, you might miss something. Yeah. Because these guys are going to get after it, as you know. And you've been in the gym recently with Jody, right? Joey, right? Yeah, Joey's yeah. very talented striker. You know, I could see him, you know, wanting to stay up with Ryan Coyote, but. He does have submissions from his back. I've seen him. Very smooth with the triangles as well yeah, and arm bars. Yeah, and he likes the umplata and the go-go plata and all that too, which is the... Uh, Very flexible guy. Yeah. You can get a rubber guard on you and you gotta watch out. He'll just throw that leg up on there. Yeah, uh, Eddie Bravo's rubber guard, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, uh, we'll bring that to your attention if Joey puts one on. Now, uh, Brandon, once again, I, you're gonna see a... You're gonna see him come out swinging for the fences. He's a he's a good boxer. So we're gonna have some uh, fun tonight with the boxer, and uh, we'll see what Jody do Joey does. Lot of boxing experience. Oh yeah, Mark, they remember him. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Dennis Bain is our uh, referee tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Dennis has probably refed over 400 matches. He's been to John McCarthy's referee school a couple times. He's been all over the state and out of the state even to ref, so. Very good ref. We got a like good ref in there. Both of these guys are ready to go, you know. Well, let's see what happens. My uh, prediction is Joey uh, is gonna come out and try to box a little bit with Brandon, but I think it's gonna end up on the ground before you know it. I'd expect some good uh, combos ending with the leg kick from Joey. Nice. Like he just lost some footing there. Oh, but Brandon coming out. Nice punch. Heavy. Let's see if Joey can survive he, yeah, that. He needs to. He needs to. Looks like Joey got caught with yeah, one of those. He just got caught. It's one of those, you know, boxing, you know, hits. You know, very powerful. But he's recovering a little bit on the ground now. Uh, really Brandon Joey needs to work to... on getting those hooks in a little bit. Yeah, he's doing yeah. good. Keep that going. Opportunities are there for him. When you take a back, you can always have the opportunity. But Looks like Joey's trying to turn into him yeah, here. He's trying to turn into him a little bit. Joey has his... Uh, Joey's doing very good at isolating his, that arm. Yeah. Trying to turn out of it still. Brandon's staying yeah. with it. He still might be a little bit oh, groggy. Oh, gets up. Nice recovery. Joey landing those leg kicks very well. Now Joey's uh, trying his leg kicks again. We got Brandon moving around a little bit. Keeping him guessing with those kicks for sure. Now they're swinging for the fences, ladies and Joey gentlemen. Joey really nice working exchange. that jab. Nice Both guys exchange. just going very hard. Nice left by Brandon. Boy, I'll tell you, these guys have got iron mm -hmm. chin. What a fun, didn't I tell you, fun fight. All right. Looking for a guillotine, but Joey's recovering again. He's trying to, and you know, these fights are crazy. You'll think some one of them are out of it, and they come right back and bang the guy, you know? So far, so good. Oh, do you look at Joey going for the knee for the yeah, head there. Yeah, once again, you can go for those knees to the face. Nice exchange. Good jabs by both these guys. Okay, he really, really getting in the Joey. 
And these are five minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Good sprawl for Locality, but it looks like Joey's staying with it. Very nice, good for nice Joey. Take down there for Joey, but Brandon's fighting hard. He's looking for that guillotine. He's trying to wrap up that uh, guard and a half guard, though. The, the, the fence is kind of keeping him from doing it. He's wasting. He's using up a little energy, though, I think. Huh? Yeah, yeah, look, they're trying really hard. Joey kind of has an angle, which kind of makes it difficult to sink in. Yeah. I'm not saying it can't be done, but has to be careful not to waste too much energy. Exactly, yep, that's a tough one to gauge, especially when your adrenaline's going and you're, mm. you got a guy on you like that. We got about 2.20 left in the first round, ladies and gentlemen. That looks a little deeper, though. Let's see if... Um, yeah, it's pretty tough, though. Joey's... I think he's got a guard going now, doesn't he? I think Joey's still fighting he, out of he it. Hip away, maybe. He's like trying to get some kind of space. I don't know if that... Is that a guillotine Brandon's got on there? Is it a guillotine style? Of, yeah, he's attacking the neck with a guillotine style choke. We're kind of in a 50-50 uh, oh, like posi position right now, yeah. Joey's cut open. Yeah, we got a little blood, get, ladies and gentlemen, but... Opening up. That wouldn't be the first time. Nice kidney shots to the ribs and kidneys there. Joey should try to two hands. I don't, I, Joey's other arm might be trapped. It might be trapped, I, I believe it is, yeah. He could grab that arm with two hands and try to pull it away, but, uh, yep, his arm is trapped in there. Yeah, his arm's trapped in there. It's kind of a 50-50 position right now. Joey losing his mouth guard. And he's a little it uncomfortable again. from the choke, but he's getting some punches in. We're going to see what kind of energy Brandon has left. Well, Joey in the Oh, full nice here. reversal. Is he still in that guillotine, but it looks like he doesn't have as tight as hold as he once did. No, we got a minute left. Can Joey posture up and start punching? Does, what options does Brandon have from here? Does he, does he need to regroup and get out of it, or is he just... He's been sticking with that guillotine very well. Oh, Joey broke three. Opening up now. He lost his mouth guard, Brandon did. When tell there's a, you know, a, a moment, you know, a stoppage, he, you know, does not have to let him put it back in. <laughs> he put it in while Joey chokes him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a good fight. Oh, oh, those guys fought. Those guys fought. Let's look at our replay here, ladies and gentlemen. Some great action. Just about when you thought Joey was out of it, there are some close calls with those guillotines. You can see Joey's face getting red. And the two punches that Joey took that put him on his backside. <laughs> what a great fight. Oh, I I wish they're, you know, one of the, this is one of those fights that you, you wish they both could win, bring their hand up in victory. There's no losers in this one. These guys gave the crowd about the best action of the night. And look at the, the effort. And, man, they're fighting back and forth. Joey's bleeding and Brandon's moving and they're getting tired and sweaty and oh, what a good fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very on like the edge of my seat kind yeah. of fight right there. Boy, you know, you're a teammate of Joey, so I'm sure when you see him getting punched and dropped a little bit, it makes you go, whoa, come on, buddy. Brandon had some, some authority behind yeah, those punches. Was, I have to take my hat off to, uh, to Brandon. I, I don't He's know a, if Joey was even quite expecting yeah, he that He lived much up power. to that billing of his boxing experience. He had some really good punches. Well, the beautiful thing is they're going to shake hands and probably have a beer together later tonight. Yeah, Butte has been uh, a great night of fights, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're sorry you can't be here live. The folks are enjoying it. He had to earn that one. Uh, Mark, uh, he earned that one. But hey, let's take our hat off to uh, uh, Brandon too, Brandon.